Hi there boys and girls and welcome back to Conquering Math, where it all adds up. Today we will be discussing the independent practice solutions to the order of operations lesson. Remember that you can pause or rewind this video as necessary to help you understand the problems. Let's dive on in. Independent practice number one. Evaluate the following expression. 8 plus 7 times 2. Now is a good time to pause this video and work on this problem if you have not done so already. Remember that the first thing we should do is write the acronym PEMDAS on the side of our page. There are no parentheses or exponents in this example, so we can move straight to multiplication and division. 7 times 2 is 14, so we have 8 plus 14. Now we're ready for addition and subtraction. 8 plus 14 is 22. Independent practice number 2. Evaluate the following expression. 4 times, in parentheses, 9 minus 2, divided by 2. Now is a good time to pause this video and work on this problem if you have not done so already. First things first, let's write PEMDAS on the side of the page. This time we do have a set of parentheses, so we need to start in there. 9 minus 2 is 7, so now the expression is 4 times 7 divided by 2. No exponents, so we move on to multiplication and division. Remember to work from left to right. 4 times 7 is 28. Now we have 28 divided by 2, which is 14. There's nothing left to do, so we don't need to add or subtract. Our final answer is 14. Independent practice number 3. Evaluate the expression. 3 times 4 minus, in parentheses, 2 plus 2, plus 5 squared. Now is a good time to pause this video and work on this problem if you have not done so already. Let's start by once again writing PEMDAS on the side of the page. The first thing that we need to do is work inside the parentheses. 2 plus 2 is 4, so we now have the expression 3 times 4 minus 4 plus 5 squared. Next we move on to exponents. 5 squared means 5 times 5, so that is 25. So now the expression is 3 times 4 minus 4 plus 25. Next we move on to multiplication and division, working from left to right. 3 times 4 is 12, so we have 12 minus 4 plus 25. Now we're left with addition and subtraction, once again working from left to right. 12 minus 4 is 8, so the expression is 8 plus 25. And finally we can evaluate 8 plus 25, and we find the final answer is 33. Independent practice number 4. You have decided to make homemade pizza for the party you are hosting this weekend. You need 4 ounces of mozzarella cheese for a small pizza, 5 ounces for a medium pizza, and 6 ounces for a large pizza. You will be making 6 small pizzas, 4 medium pizzas, and 10 large pizzas. How many ounces of mozzarella cheese will you need? Write an equation and use PEMDAS to help you solve this problem. Now is a good time to pause the video and work on this problem if you have not done so already. The first thing that we need to do is to set up an expression to model the scenario. We can help ourselves by breaking it into pieces. If we find all of the cheese for the small pizzas, plus all of the cheese for the medium pizzas, plus all of the cheese for the large pizzas, we can find the total amount of cheese. The expression would look like this. 4 ounces of cheese per small pizza times 6 small pizzas, plus 5 ounces of cheese per medium pizza times 4 medium pizzas, plus 6 ounces of cheese per large pizza times 10 large pizzas, and that will give us the total amount of cheese. Now we're ready to get to work. Write PEMDAS on the top of the page. There are no operations inside of the parentheses, so we can skip that. There are no exponents, so we can skip that. So now we have multiplication and division. If we multiply, going from left to right, we find that 4 times 6 is 24, 
5 times 4 is 20, and 6 times 10 is 60. So we have the expression 24 ounces plus 20 ounces plus 60 ounces. Now we add 24 plus 20 plus 60 is 104. You will need 104 ounces of mozzarella cheese to make all of the pizzas. Remember that you can pause and rewind this video as many times as necessary until you understand the process. Thanks for watching this episode of Conquering Math, where it all adds up. I'll see you next time.